photography in the great outdoors. It's an amazing thing. I love taking photos outside with nature, landscape, wildlife, birds, etc., plants, insects, you name it. I'm about to go through my camera bag and uh, showcase all the products that I use on a daily basis to uh, capture nature and landscape. So uh, let's get down to it. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is what holds everything together, literally, and it's this backpack, all right? This is the Glass Limo by Think Tank. I recommend that every photographer considers this bag because it's amazing, especially if you have a big telephoto lens. As you can see right here, I mean, there's not a lot of bags that can fit a pro body with a telephoto lens uh, with a grip attached and the hood attached. Up here is the machine behind the shot. That's old reliable, uh, the Sony a7R III. I take the items out as we go. Lift the Velcro, and then right here, there it is. 200 to 600 G, got Arca Swiss plates on everything, uh, which interchanges very well with the tripods that I use. So Arca Swiss, I also like to use this as a handle. I do have a battery grip attached to this because it gives it a better form factor, easier to hold. In it goes, there we are. That whole thing just fits nicely in there. Great, great setup for nature, two to 600, amazing range. You can flick the zoom with a finger. Uh, really does a fine job. Some of the best photos I've ever taken of birds have just been done on this lens and I love it. You're not gonna always be shooting birds. You may not be always shooting, you know, things that are far away. Great lens for that, but I have this right here. This is the 24 millimeter F 1.4. GM lens. I love this as a landscape lens. I mean, it just does a great job. Super small. If you ever want a landscape lens that is so small, it doesn't even feel like it's on your camera, but it is pro optics. It's the 24. Phenomenal lens. What I have here is something special. This is something that you might find yourself shooting plants with or anything of that regard. This is the Canon 100 millimeter macro. And this is an oldie, but it's a goodie. This right here has incredible optics, but these are very, very affordable. So you can find these things used occasionally for like $300. And I have it paired with an autofocus adapter, the MC11. Just an amazing setup that works. I mean, I've always done macro, whether it's leaves on trees or, or plants. This thing does a great job. And this is probably the most budget-friendly option to get into macro on a Sony camera. So check out online if you can on eBay or Craigslist. See if you can find one of these lenses used. It's the Canon 100 millimeter 2.8 USM. Highly recommend. Supplies in that regard, always keep one of these. This is a blower bulb. Dust off anything like sensor dust. Two Sony FZ100 batteries. Memory card case, some sand disks. Peak Design cuff. Notice actually I have Peak Design links on the camera. Click it right on the lens. When you're done, put it up like a wristband. You got the actual Peak Design neck strap, which that interchanges effortlessly. A bunch of miscellaneous things you should take with you. Every photographer should have these. Just a screwdriver, extra plate, quarters in case you need to turn plates, spikes for the tripod. We're gonna talk about the tripod in just a second. Allen wrenches to really make sure plates are secured. You should have a little tool pouch in your camera bag uh, at all times. One very important thing we got in here, a rain jacket. You never know when you need this thing. So this is a small rig multi-tool. That's everything a boy could want right there. It's a remote shutter release. Take the photo, no shake, gotta have it. Microfiber cloth, it says Fujifilm, love the Fuji. Optic clean fluid, and this is a deluxe. Sony G Master. Oop. <laughs> Cleans your camera. The tripod that I have attached here is the Mi Photo Globe Trotter Carbon Fiber Edition. Lightweight travel tripod. This thing is amazing. As you can see here, there is a little something else. This is the small rig mini tripod. And get a load of this, man. This is a ball head Arca Swiss removable head, actually, tripod with pan control. Look at this little thing. You know, excellent for vlogging or just running gun scenarios where you don't want the giant tripod. This little tripod, if you just want to take it, does an amazing job. I mean, look at that. How crazy is that? That's a lot of sh But I have all the bases covered. One lens I didn't talk about, which I really do enjoy, is the 70-200 GM. I didn't put it in this bag, but sometimes I'll swap them out. For close encounters in the wild, it just does a phenomenal job with separation of background. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, so that just about does it. That is what I use on a daily basis for nature and landscape photography in the field. I might do another one of these for portrait photography, like with lighting and strobes and stuff. So if you'd want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to give a thumbs up if you did enjoy the video and subscribe if you will. Um, that helps a lot and I thank you very much. This is Nick from Vista Media signing off and I'll see you in the next one.